Hello, my name is Diomar Ortiz and I am the product manager for Zapier Tables. And today I'd like to walk you through our platform and show you some tips and tricks and run through a quick demo of how to create an AI field. All right, so let's get into this demo. And for this demo, we're going to use a hat shop as our business. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and import our data from a Google Sheet. And you will notice that you can import a CSV file. You can bring data straight from Airtable, Excel, Gmail, Slack. And for this demo, we're gonna go ahead and connect to Google Sheets. Once we have our spreadsheet selected, we can click next to select the fields we want to bring in. We'll click select all, and I don't need these two fields. We'll click import data, and this will reach into Google Sheets, make a connection, and automatically transfer everything over to tables like this. All right, let's create an AI field. We will name it sentiment, and you will notice that we provide a free model from OpenAI, which is the 3.5 Turbo model. You can also bring along your own authentication if you like, uh, but for this demo, we'll just use the default 3.5 and we'll click to create a prompt. Let's start with a template. You can also start from scratch and write your prompt manually. So let's click get started and you will notice a list of pre-populated templates to choose from. We're going to use uh, analyze the sentiment of a, of a message, but there are other options like a reply email based on some of the fields from the table. You can have it create an item for your to-do list. Uh, for this case, we're gonna go ahead and analyze the sentiment of the message. And we're going to look at the message field. So you'll see that the prompt is pre-populated here and it says analyze the sentiment of this message below and categorize it into one of three groups, positive, negative, neutral. And it gives it some instructions for formatting and it's pointed to the message field. You can also edit the prompt settings to change your model. Again, if you bring your own authentication, all of your model will be pre-populated here and you can set the creativity toggle here. So let's go ahead and click done. We'll click create and you will see that this will toggle uh, 10 at a time to generate a sentiment. Once this is created and all of the sentiment is populated, you can go ahead and do anything you want with this data. One thing that comes to mind is you don't wanna be looking at this table every day. How about you get a message anytime a new record is inserted by this form on your website that's connected to this table. And you wanna know just at a glance what the sentiment of the message from the customer was. You can go ahead and create a zap and you can have it set to trigger anytime a new record is inserted and a sentiment analysis is done. And it will send you, for instance, an email or a Slack message, or you can send it anywhere else. You can also automate your data by clicking this button down here. Basically, you can take an action anytime a record is created and a record is updated or a record is created or updated. You can also start from scratch by clicking this create button, click the automation button, and you'll get this pop-up with different options to bring data in, send data out. You can modify your data, or you can start again with a blank slate and set up your zap however you like. A couple of other things that I would highlight is our linked assets tab that allow you to create a zap from here. You can also create an interface. You can automate your lead generation by building interfaces and linking them to your zaps and tables data. And you can use this to create a form. Uh, you can use it to visualize your data via your Kanban board. And you can also share a publicly editable link to the table through interfaces where you can set the different permission levels. Then you can go over to the chatbots tab. This allows you to connect your table's data up to a thousand records as a data source for a chatbot. So imagine you need to have a chatbot and you don't want that chatbot running wild, making up different things. You can give it a set of questions and answers based off of a table. Then with Canvas, you can visualize all of your connected assets in one fluid application that shows all of the steps and which applications are being used in those steps.